Hello, welcome back to the vlog. This is why I shrieked. This is like the best thing that's happened to me all month. I've had just, this year has sucked so bad. I feel like I'm gonna cry. This year has sucked so bad. Everything sucks. My nutcrackers, they pulled all my stuff down. I'm so excited. They pulled all the stuff down for the, for the Halloween stuff to give it away to them. And then he made them pull all the stuff down for the for Christmas. Oh my god, I had to put Christmas stuff up. I'm so excited. Look at this good man. Look at this good man. No, you you missed uh, the part with my buddy uh, uh, catching all the boxes and bringing them down. But now you see why I set up extra storage in our ceiling. He need to come back. He need a water shot. All of that is in our garage attic. <sighs> And then the Nutcrackers. This is Hans and Beauregard. They're, they obviously, they're wrapped. But like, oh God, I'm so happy right now. And like, those are my ornaments. And my trees are over there by the bug. Um, I'm so, I just, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And then my snow came in for my village. That just showed up today. Thrilled. Came in for your village? The fake snow, that like sheet of snow that I put down to cover up that sideboard I don't like. Oh. You guys, I can't even like, oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so now I need to, oh my God, oh my God. And let me show you, let me show you. Oh my God. Y'all, Peloton just announced they're gonna have Peloton bar. I'ma get my ass back. Uh, I'm excited. Between that and Jeremy pulling out the Christmas stuff, I feel like it was the universe pulling a Wilson Phillips and telling me I need to hold on. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm already looking for stuff for my house for more Christmas stuff. I am going for, or what I'm in the market for, I shouldn't say, is like more of like a nutcracker sweet vibe like you know the ballet uh i want to like have that kind of really grand traditional but like spectacular feel and i also could go for like a heavy dose of gingerbread so stay tuned i already got gift wrap arrived today i already had my first dump of christmas gift wrap that i just bought to uh because i needed to do something and I've already had some presents roll in. You wanna come up here? Come here. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Good puppies. Yeah. Good puppies. Good pu Look at this booty. That's what my day looks like today. Oh, what a nice image. That's so sweet. Yeah. You good baby. Um, this is how I, I'm, I'm kind of experimenting right now with how I, I'm, um, I'm experimenting with a couple of new tactics for how I organize my life um, and work and goals and everything like that. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all what I'm doing for um, the delivery folks, just for the, basically for the rest of the year. This is for autumn, um, they just arrived, so I wanted to kind of build this with you, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing for, at least for like, you know, end of September, October, until basically until holiday really starts for the rest of the world, because you know, it's already started for me, as evidenced by all that. Okay, so I, I made this, I designed this, um, and then he laminated it for me, but it's just basically a thank you to all the delivery folks. And then I'm going to use this here. This is just like a copper and steel, um, like sort of like a champagne bucket or not large. It's a, it's like a, what do they call it? Like a beverage bucket, um, that I've had, I think I got it last year. Yeah, last year or the year before. Either way, it's kind of perfect for what I need it for. So I'm going to start with this. And what I did was I just ordered a bunch of like the good stuff. Okay, so I got those, I got some Fiji water and then I got a whole bunch of snack cakes and stuff just to kind of keep it, you know, just like a workout, just to keep it like fun and, and you know, something they'd like. 
my whole entire logic with this is simply y'all have kept us fed. I said it in the thing, fed, safe, and sane. So like this is the least we can do, you know? I'm gonna give you the good water, I'm gonna give you the good snacks. Although I did not buy chips. I just like everybody buys chips, so I didn't want to. And then I'm gonna put out some of the Lara bars. Got some of these Fit Crunch bars. If you've never had these, these things are delicious. They taste like a candy bar. And then I also grabbed full size candy bars. Another thing, a different kind cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. Um, ho ho's. Cupcakes. These like hostessy ones. And some ding dongs. Literally just everything to find in pumpkin spice Twinkies, because why not, right? Okay, so this is what we're looking like now. So I figured I'd start with like six and then just like a little assortment. Hopefully they see it and you know, but yeah. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and it is early. I thought I'd show you the garden. I'm gonna start here. Just because you, I mean like, it's a, it's like a crime to not show you this. My zinnias. You know how happy I've been all summer with my zinnias? Look at them now. Like, stunning, right? I'll show you up there too, but like that yellow one, that yellow one's a full double bloom at this point. It's just awesome. I, and I haven't weeded. So this is, it's wild right now, but I, I actually kind of love it. Okay, so I did plant just six things this week um, since I had the beds and I just repurposed the soil. This I planted, I don't have anything coming up yet, but this soil looks kind of rough. So I may not get anything out of this. I planted red acre cabbage here and sugar snap peas here. It's a bummer if not, oh no, I stand corrected. There's a bud right there. There is hope. I'm so sorry if I sound nasally. I have allergies. You y'all look like at this point should it should just be normal. My jalapenos get a little bit of height on him. You know, just a little bit. I'm gonna eventually rehome this soil. I'm just not in a rush. Okay. Just take a load of this. <laughs> it's like kinda nuts. It looks amazing. It looks so much better now that it's just not 100 degrees every single day. Um, so over here, this is my little purple beauty bell pepper that could. It's kind of crazy, but like you can see, there's just little, you can see the little babies, you know? It's pretty awesome. This here in my rainbow cherry tomatoes, this thing has just exploded, oh my God. And like, they're kind of everywhere. They're there, and they're over there, and they're up in there, and they're over there, and they're down here. I'm trying to keep them off the ground, but like, I got plenty of tomatoes coming off this thing. I'm psyched. They're over there. They just reached out, and I'm so desperate for tomatoes, I let it. This sunflower that I did not plant is just the little engine that could. I mean, it's amazing that one flower has popped off all of these and I haven't done anything to it it's kind of nuts so then this is my Cherokee purple tomato I don't have any fruit on it that I see I may be wrong I really don't look that hard um but it is fun as hell to watch and it smells amazing over here my baby blue pumpkins I have no I'm starting to get some I've got some damage uh, I may not have pumpkins. I had flowers. Shit. Yeah. We'll see. I'll spray them with uh, neem oil and see how it goes. Over here are my, um, look at this guy. Just like, he's so aggressive. Uh, over here is my beefsteak tomatoes. There is my beefsteak tomato. <laughs> I don't think I have any other ones on here. I may be wrong. It's, I mean, it is dense. Um, I do need to, I do need to trim, but I kind of don't care. Like I kind of just want to see what happens because I've got such low expectations at this point. You know what I mean? It's like, whatever. Um, 
Like tomatoes in October. What do you what do you want from me? These my original zinnia patch. I cut all those back and look at it. It's trippy. Okay, and then over here. Oh my god, that scares the shit out of me every single time now. I put oh I put those felt bags. I have fire ant bites for two weeks, so I put the felt bags in that dead space. But now I feel like it's like a sleeping something every time and it stops my heart. Oh, okay. Do you see this though? You see these little purple flowers that I'm getting? Now that the heat's broken, I think those are supposed to be my pink asters. Um, they don't look anything like they were supposed to. But something came up. And that, um, isn't this just such a good trip? Like what temperature, that, like the temperature. It's so fascinating to me. My mammoth rush and sunflowers are like very short lived. I would not plant this variety again. I would totally plant sunflowers again, just not from where I got these from. I'm gonna cut these back. That was just a lot of work for nothing. And then over here, but then my zinnias on the other hand, I highly recommend. Cause like, look at these. Look at this yellow one, man. That's been holding on for two weeks. Looks like that. Like, just gorgeous. So this is what I mean by this time next year, I'll be doing the cut flower garden because I, you actually can encourage more blooms by cutting them. I just, I just didn't know that in time. And I would have planted differently. So this is purely just for beauty. And it's just fun to look at, you know? Like, God. And like, if you, they just kind of never stop. They never stop. It's just, I cannot, if you are like, I don't know what to grow, grow zinnias. Seriously. Grow them. If I can do it, you can do it. It's one of the first things I put on the ground, and it has been thriving. Okay, and then over here we have my agave, my um, poppies. That big poppy bush is doing great. A lot of my little ones are picking up too. Look at that. I'm telling you. This temperature, man, it is trippy. Over here, we have my watermelon. <laughs> um, he might be ready to go pretty soon. And then, yeah, cause like, look at this. Yeah, I gotta cut back. Okay, I gotta actually do some stuff. All right, I'm not gonna get up in there cause it's kind of gruesome. This is my Dixie Queen. These are my sugar babies, in case you are new here. That's a sugar baby watermelon growing. And then I've got a bunch of the little ones too, if you can see that. I have a ton of these little guys. I mean, a ton of them. Uh, in here, I actually have rainbow, but you can see it. I actually have rainbow bell peppers coming up. They're finally like, they're so little for so long that I let this take over and now they're like, okay, we're here. It is hysterical to me. Okay. And then over here I have more rainbow bell peppers. And then I've got another round of the Cherokee purple tomatoes. This is why I didn't mind if my other ones didn't, I've said this like in every single one of these garden tours. I did not mind if my other Cherokee purples didn't do well because I knew I had planted this. And I, this was also an experiment. I just wanted to see with the heat um, about the timing. And I was right. My Alpine strawberries, I don't expect anything out of. I just, I've been told to leave it for several months. So I am. And then my grapes, nothing new. My blackberries, you want to talk about seeing some progress on this. This looks so much better. So much better. It's crazy. So I'm gonna rehome that. I'm just leaving it for the time being. I'm gonna put flowers in it. My little guy. What's up, buddy? Mower is trapped. <sighs> oh, it got stuck in the rain. Okay. It was trying to go home. Okay. Okay, and then just lastly over here, I'll show you this before I call it a day. 
these are watermelon radishes you can see they're actually doing pretty good you know and this is keep in mind this is really early in the morning so this is what my soil looks but uh yeah chinese cabbage greens are over here aren't they gorgeous when they're little i just think they're so pretty when they're little these like little flowers but i've got kind of a lot of those and then over here this is all kale this is blue scotch kale excuse me blue curled scotch kale but like I got a lot of kale i did plant a lot of kale though and then right over here we've got catsco brussels sprouts which are starting to come up which makes me very very happy because i love brussels sprouts so i do have a full garden it is small but it is seemingly doing okay what the hell is that kind of nice not having a totally full garden but anyway but yeah so and you know it's little but I still have so much stuff that I planted early that's still, you know, they have longer life cycles. This stuff doesn't take as long. So with my luck, I'll have a, shit, this will still be going. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, so I hope y'all enjoyed this little, isn't this so potential? That's what this looks like to me, the little babies look like potential. Love it. All right, I'm gonna go put uh, Orlando in his home and uh, I will see y'all next week. Get ready because the holiday content is a moving. I am starting to decorate. Um, you will inevitably see it. And I, I will tell you, I am gonna wait to put like an actual holiday video, like dedicated content video up until October. It's only like three weeks away, but still, right? Like, I don't know about you, but I'm just so desperate for the holidays. So, TBD. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see y'all very soon. Bye.